Welcome back to a Junk Fruiting Friday and R and D W Adventures. I'm Daryl, and I'm Renee, and we're pickling. Yeah, we're doing pickles again. This is one of those we asked, you spoke, and we went shopping at Menards. Right. Thank Only one for, of these uh, is actually pickles, but yeah. it's all pickled. But thank you for answering the polls because that that's fun. It is fun. We're going to do more of those. Uh, but when we were there, we found these jars from uh, Old World Traditional Foods. I think is what it was called. Yes. Pickles without turmeric. Very happy. But they're not pickles. No. Well, they're are... like salads and whatnot. Yeah. So we've got the traditional Polish salad, traditional Greek salad, sweet cucumber salad, and then marinated peppers. They didn't have just pickles. No. They actually didn't. <laughs> not from them. No. Yeah. They had a ton of other pickles. With turmeric. Which we might actually try some of those if we can find them without the turmeric. Exactly. But we haven't been getting so lucky. So I would say let's start in this order. I'm going to try the traditional Polish salad. Okay. So and it's like sauerkraut and what else? I mean not sauerkraut. Um, cabbage. White cabbage, carrot, red pepper, onion, water, vinegar, sugar, and salt. So basically sauerkraut. Yep. Should I go get the thing? Nope. All right. Oh. Oh, it's very stinky. <laughs> but is much drier than I expected. It doesn't have nearly as much flavor as I was expecting. Mm. It is stinkier than I expected. I like it. I I'm actually going to give, give that a four. I'm giving that a four. I, I would definitely put that on like a Hot dog. Hot dog or something, you know? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Now let's move on to the uh, traditional Greek What's salad. Inside? This one. Oh, so you're going to make me yep, uh, read here, I'll read it. Cucumbers, carrots, red pepper, onions, and that's it. Okay. I'm making him work today. I could go get the thing. The thing. I don't know what it's called, the jar opener. There you go. <laughs> okay, this one does not want to open. And as soon as she leaves, I'm gonna get it open. Isn't that always the case? I just cannot get a grip on it. That's why we have a jar opener, because usually I can't. So I bent the cap and as soon as it broke the seal, all right. Ooh, that smells really good. Mmm, it does. Let me mix it up a little bit, though. So you get some of everything? Yeah. Because all I'm seeing on the top... Oh, you missed the peppers. Yeah. Put so, some in the lid. Here. That's a good idea. So there we go. This is what it kind of looks like. And then... There's more peppers right here. Yeah, I'm trying to get some peppers. Oops. Oops. I'm gonna take it from here. Can I do that? Yep. Yeah. I get one of each. Mm. Again, it's not anywhere near the flavor I was expecting. Not at all. You know, flavor level. Right. It's good. Yeah. Um, I'm only going to give that a three, though. I'm going to give it a three. I think I actually like the Polish one better. I definitely did. But this mixed with some other stuff, like maybe add some um, feta well, that's, and make that's something the thing. else with it. All of these good. need something else. Well, right. But the the Polish one needs like a hot dog. <laughs> well, I'm thinking maybe this with uh, the Euro meat for you would be a good uh, sandwich. It might. Hmm. You know, kind of make a... Uh, uh, kielbasa Greek style. Maybe. All right, and the sweet cu cucumbers. Do you want to know what's in the sweet cucumbers? I'm guessing cucumbers. Nope. No? Nothing's in the sweet cucumbers. It's right here. Oh, there. It's off to the side. Pineapple. Pineapple? Cucumbers, pineapple, onions, 
and okay, other stuff. Okay. That has a weird aroma. Yeah, I'm not sure about this pineapples with cucumber thing. Well, and you and can definitely see the onions. I don't see the cucumber. I, mean, I don't the see the pineapples at all. Oh, wait, that might be a pineapple right there. But this oh, yeah, is, is what it looks like. It is. There you go. There we go. I'm not sure about that. Ah. <laughs> there you That's go. That's not nice at all. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just going to shovel into my mouth. <laughs> I lost the pineapple. This is the hardest of them to eat so far. It's also, to me, the mm -hmm. least tasty. Mm -hmm. This is getting a one. Mm -hmm. I had so much hope and Ew. it failed. It failed. It failed on a big scale. I'll give you a one. All right, last one is the marinated peppers. I need a drink that's yucky. This one, again, I had some hope for after that last one. I think not. pineapples don't belong in vinegar, ever. I don't think there's vinegar. Oh, there was vinegar. Okay. Ugh. All right, so. This needs prosciutto. That's going to be my guess. Have you seen those little mini pepper stuff with prosciutto? Yeah. So we have a piece of pepper, definitely, you know, just like a red pepper that's been sliced and marinated. That's all that's in here with mustard seeds. Definitely something I could see cooking with, including with something. Just taking this piece because it's falling apart. Yeah, I don't think you're going to like this one. No. I don't like the consistency. I don't like anything about it. So that one is going to get a two from me. You're going to get a one. Which is actually better than I thought you would do, guys. Ugh. So on that happy note, we're going to wrap this up. Check out the uh, other videos on our channel, especially the stuff that isn't the junk fooding, because we have a lot of other stuff over there that, you know, we have fun with this, but more fun with some of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And then on this side is going to be the junk fooding playlist. So if you like the junk fooding, we got a ton more stuff like that over here.